This feature is brought to you by JPHMP Direct, an online community for advances in public health. In this tutorial, I will be discussing some points to consider when writing the methods section of a science manuscript, which is adapted from a written post in the Scholarship of Public Health series, written by Dr. Justin Moore, which you can find the full post at jphmpdirect.com. Keep in mind that these tips are specific to JPHMP as a practitioner-oriented journal. The method section is arguably the most important section of your manuscript, as it contains the material that most people will use to judge the quality of your article. There are a number of guidelines available to authors to assist in deciding what information is relevant to the reader and how it should be presented. The Equator Network presents a comprehensive list of reporting guidelines that cover most of the article types that JPHMP publishes. Consort, Strobe, Prisma, and SRQR inform reporting of randomized trials, observational studies, systematic reviews, and qualitative research studies, respectively. The components that will be covered in this tutorial will be setting, study design, participants, data source or measurement, quantification of variables, and statistical methods. Basically, the setting is where the study occurred. If space allows, it's good practice to describe the location as they related to the generalizability of the results. For example, in this study called Community Health Workers, addressing client objectives among frequent emergency department users. We can see that the study operated in an integrated hospital system in Buffalo, New York. It's one thing to leave it at this, but the authors specify that Buffalo is an economically disadvantaged city with 30.9% of the population living at or below the federal poverty level, which limits the generalizability. Early in the methods, you should specify the design of the study as clearly as possible, with the appreciation that much practice-based work doesn't fall into neat categories, such as randomized control trial, cohort, case control studies, time series, or cross-sectional designs. For complex or non-traditional designs, you might consider supplemental figures or tables that detail who and when participants were recruited, measured, and intervened upon. This is a good place to present information about ethical oversight of the study, or in other words, IRB review. Here, the authors mention that the Institutional Review Board has reviewed the evaluation protocol. You want to describe the eligible population, eligibility criteria, and methods for selecting the sample. You'll want to be careful not to use words like a random sample when you really have a convenient sample. Indicate any exclusion criteria that impact the final sample size. Clearly indicate which data were collected for the current study and how those data were captured. Questionnaires or scales should be clearly described with a brief explanation of the available evidence for their validity and reliability or a citation that presents the information if available. Consider making the scale or data extraction instrument available as supplemental content if the psychometric properties haven't been previously established. It's important that you clearly define all exposures, predictors, control variables, and potential confounders. Ideally, you should operationalize your variables here. For example, don't simply say that you controlled for physical activity when you report collecting data on numerous physical activity related behaviors. It would be more helpful to explicitly state how you've operationalized the variable for the analysis. We controlled for physical activity by including a variable indicating those currently active as defined as reporting five or more days of 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity in the last seven days. When presenting statistical methods, it can be a challenge to balance between presenting enough information 
to ensure that your analyses could be reproduced and not presenting it in a manner that confuses the non-statistically oriented reader. Typically for JPHMP, we suggest avoiding the presentation of formulas unless a new analytical technique is being presented. However, it's important that the information necessary for the interpretation of the results is presented. Generally speaking, authors should present the power analysis, data cleaning, handling of missing data, data transformations, statistical techniques, and post hoc comparisons to be presented. And that concludes this tutorial for tips on writing the methods section of a manuscript. Be sure to check out more from this column series by Dr. Justin Moore, and visit the following links for our tutorial on writing an abstract, writing the results section, and writing the discussion of a manuscript.